good morning students i hope you all are doing great previously we were doing some question answers of unit number 12 the solar system so now we'll be doing the exercise questions on page number 105 we have already done the first three questions so we'll be moving on to the next so here i have uh, written the questions from the book on page number 105 so take out your books to page number 105 as well as your notebook so you can note these questions and their answers on it okay first uh, question number 4 name the planets nearest to and furthest from the sun okay i have given these two questions as homework question number 4 and question number 5 in my previous uh, lecture so i have included their answer uh, in this lecture and as well as i will explain it to you name the planets nearest to and furthest from the sun that means that you have to name those planets which are nearest which is the closest to this to the sun and the uh, uh, planets which are very far away from the sun both so you will mention that the nearest planets to the sun are these and the furthest from them are this you have to name one planet which is nearest and one planet which is far apart which what instruments do astronomers use to study universe what is hubble okay here again they have asked uh, that which instrument is used uh, by the astronomers to look at the space and discover things okay and there the other question what is hubble i have included the answer uh, for all of these in my coming part of the video i will tell you when to pause the video what is the difference between natural and artificial satellite okay this question is not a homework so uh, this will be explained here uh, a natural and a artificial satellite so uh, before uh, understanding these two terms you need to understand about the satellite term okay satellite is basically uh, anything which is moving around the planet which is orbiting when you are moving in a circular motion we call it orbit so when something is orbiting around uh, around a planet we call it a satellite for example uh, on earth we we also have a satellite which you talked about earth has a natural satellite which is basically the moon so why it is a satellite because moon is orbiting around the earth so we call it natural satellite because moon is naturally present we have not created moon humans have not created moon it was already created so it was naturally present so we call it natural satellite then comes the artificial artificial basically means which is made by humans artificially created so artificial satellites are those satellites which we have sent into space and which uh, helps us for example it uh, the gps system uh works due to a satellite which is orbiting around the earth which sends information regarding the location into your device which is basically uh, the google maps you can say or you can uh, or in the car gps both uh, are getting information from the satellites artificial satellites present outside the earth which are orbiting the moving around the earth okay moving to the answers now you have to pause the video from here so i can show you the answers of all these questions okay moving to the answers here are the answers of all of these so check your answers before go uh, going to this part of the video you have to answer these questions by yourself and then come to this part of the video to check your answers see you soon allah